Our van build is not yet fully finished, but all of our systems are fitted and working. So before we complete our build to suit our van lifestyle, we'll be testing all the systems and the habitat on a shakedown tour. But what better place to have a shakedown than on the North Coast 500? What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? <laughs> bought our Citroen Relay two years ago to convert into a home on wheels. We raised the suspension using components from VB Air. This with all-terrain tyres not only has given us some extra ground clearance but extra tractability too. We then fitted our Max Air fans, roof rack and decking and added up to 700 watts of solar power. We then built our bed over garage to house our e-bikes, electrical system and water storage. And using the same extruded aluminium we used to make our bed frame, we made this fridge unit with eye level fridge and a little unit here to hide some of our electrical systems. From the fridge unit, we built the seating area, under which is housed the Combi 40 boiler and our composting toilet. <laughs> On the other side of the galley, out of more extruded aluminium, we made our kitchen to house the sink. Thetford hob and our Thetford oven. So with all our systems checked and working and van loaded, come and join us and see how we get on on the North Coast 500. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, our van, its systems and layout got a thorough good shakedown on the NC500. I would strongly advise at least one good shakedown of all your van systems and habitat to ensure that as you're progressing with your build, you are progressing to suit your van lifestyle. So, so far, have we made some good decisions? Our chosen van for our van lifestyle is a Citroen Relay H3 L2, also known as a Fiat Ducato, Ram Pro Master and Peugeot Boxer. All we've done from standard is give it a 3 inch lift on the suspension, fit some all terrain tyres and reach at the engine. This throughout the North Coast 500 for us was an ideal size, so as far as our van of choice we're really really pleased with our Citroen Relay. Our raised bed over garage, our eye level refrigerator, worktops and bench seat over composting toilet and Truma 4E combi boiler is really suiting our van lifestyle. A 100 litre water tank and very useful raised step into bed supplied us with enough water for up to 10 days. Our electrical systems never dropped the whole time below 86%. Our diesel heater really warmed up our van a tree but is a little bit noisy compared to this, our Truma 4E combi boiler. Running on LPG it gave us lashings of hot water but heated up our van quietly. I was really really worried about using something I couldn't flush away but this composting toilet was absolutely brilliant. We'd been using it for three weeks before I needed to empty it and even then it wasn't really full. Apart from the urine diverter obviously that needs emptying a little bit more frequently. So what didn't work and what would we change? Upon reflection we think that the toilet could have been better off on a slide to come out for those nighttime visits to the loo just so we don't disturb the dog. To collect that grey waste, we had temporarily put a 20 litre tank underneath our sink, but soon came to realise that 20 litres fills up fairly quick, so one thing we're going to be doing is building a lot bigger grey waste tank underneath our van. So overall we're really really pleased about the layout of our van and how we built it so far, and we can't wait now to crack on and get some of these cupboards built. As you build your van, I would strongly advise one, if not several shakedowns of your van systems and habitat to ensure your build is progressing to suit your van lifestyle. <laughs> so overall, it worked well. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, everything that we... So overall, everything worked fantastically and the plan of the van that we originally started with plan of the van, for fuck's sake, man. So overall, we weren't really disappointed. Hang on, mate. What? Sure. What? <laughs> um, so that's it for now. The build is still progressive. Everything worked well. Um, and that's about it, really. Oh, you're ending it, are you? Yeah. Okay.